Welcome to the third segment of our exclusive TV interview with Riz Lowe. Riz, after you were charged for credit card fraud, you were also diagnosed with bipolar disorder and it was used as part of your mitigation plea, right? Yes. So actually, what kind of treatments are you receiving now? I'm taking medications mm -hmm. and I'm seeing the psychologist on a uh, fortnightly basis. Every three weeks you yes. go to the doctor. Okay, what kind of medication are you taking? I'm taking actually, I'm taking a belief fee. Mm -hmm. I've changed three different types of uh, medications before, but they were not suitable for me oh. because I get nausea, I get okay, headaches, okay. I get it migraines, and yeah, okay. terrible side effects. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, before you started taking these medication, right, do you already know that you are suffering from extreme mood swings? Uh, not really, because I just thought that I'm just another hyperactive kid and mm -hmm. then just feel depressed at times when yeah, lonely at night. Mm -hmm. Do you feel very high in the day and feel very low at night? Is that yeah, usually the case? Actually, okay. I feel very high all the way. Mm -hmm. I can don't sleep for five, six days and... It happens before? Yeah, oh. five, six days and you can just keep on working or studying doing puzzles or doing cross-stitch, oh. things that I like. Have you also done something else, anything else, which could be influenced by your bipolar disorder? Mm, so far, not that I know of, mm -hmm. not that I've thought of as well. Any other crazy things that you have done? Maybe drinking a lot. Do you drink Maybe a lot? Maybe drinking, yeah. Like every Friday night? Uh, every day. Every it's day? Not, every day, oh, not okay. only Friday nights, yeah. Are your parents aware of it? Yeah, they were, but they were really disappointed and they have no idea what to do with me. Okay, but they know that it's not good for you, right? Yeah. Okay, did that's they try to stop you? That's when they tried to ask me what's going on. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell what's wrong with me as well because I just thought that it's something that everybody goes through at this stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. then does your medical condition also affect your relationship, say with guys? I think it does How because so? I'll be screaming at the guy, I'll be crying my tears off, crying my eyes off. So you cry a lot yeah. when you are with guys? Is yeah, I okay. get low very often oh. and when I'm really happy, I'll get really crazy and high okay. and <laughs> I don't think much guys can really take the kind okay. of they, they can't take it. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of mood swings. Is that why you, you are single? Yes, oh. I guess so. And uh, when did you tell the pageant organiser ERM, ERM about your medical condition? Uh, I told them after the thing was out. After, Only after the yeah, okay. after the credit card fraud was out. And mm -hmm. they asked me why did I do it. I said I have no control over my behaviour and I don't really know what I was doing then. Mm -hmm. Did they accept your explanation? Yes. They did, without mm. further questioning? Yeah. Okay. They were willing to give me a second chance and ask me to go ahead with the pageant. Okay, that's before the pageant? Yeah. You told them before the pageant? Uh, no, or after? that's after the pageant. After the pageant. But they still wanted you to go ahead with the competition mm. yes. in South Africa? Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. So, uh, in the next clip, we'll talk to Riz about how she feels uh, after losing your crown. Okay. Gotta get that boom, 